Everybody say USA television much better, but this I watch for Today three UFC hours do not change. Division Inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Nice. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Nice one, two there. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful strike. and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good is Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice punch lands over the top. He blocked the punch. Big kick land. Wow. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh! That's on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he got that hand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has a performance hurt very badly again. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big punch, man. Don't stop. How's he going to follow this one? Ten seconds to go in the round. And that one certainly found the target. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's fight. Wow, huge head kick. Got him. Oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC. But... How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, he might be out. Now 
Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Straight punch oh. land. He didn't like that left hand. Back to the feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Let's go, let's go. Finish this, guys. Come on. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! 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 Looks like the referee will step in here, yes, and motions the grounded fighter back up. Nice straight punch. And now he lands a combination. Patented jab, well landed. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Whoa, whoa. That was nasty! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging. You're in line, I'm balling, I'm balling, I'm balling, I'm the song. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. Dream of the knockout like this. Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out, oh, yeah. Smash out, smash out, smash out, yeah. In my head, man. Slum over. And the home of So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet, the other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes to that end. Early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Big hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, 
he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday. The game plan he's executing to perfection. And he's doing it exactly as he said he hoped it would go. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. All right, so he postures up. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That's a big strike right there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Take down, cut. Take down, cut. Over and over to secure these takedowns. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. He's hurt. Strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. No, it does not matter how many times you jam on that X punch, it will not do any damage. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. arm to the side, get his head against the mat, now watch as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the And this might just be a matter of time. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done! <laughs> yeah, that's high-level Jiu-Jitsu there, and I know going into this fight, he felt like he was gonna have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap, and he did one better here tonight. He forced the nap, so great technique to get the finish, and ultimately, he is your winner by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds in the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Brian! All right, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after getting...
Shuffle 